ever had so many listings or buyers that you have had to try to keep track of that you just can't keep them all straight? You don't remember their names or what it is that they're looking for? Um, if you've you ever had that problem or you're trying to increase your productivity and you're trying to figure out how it is that you're going to keep track of all these different parts and pieces of transactions, um, this is the solution that I came up with. Um, my name's Lisa Bingley. I am the agent leader. I'm here to uh, train you, teach you, and to help you increase your productivity and become a better real estate agent. So what I'm going to show you today, this is um, the agent-centric planner. So. In this planner, this is something that I developed for myself. Um, as I sell 110 units a year, it became really difficult, you know, the last couple years to keep track of everything that was going on, all the listings that I had up, and that was running solo. I didn't have an assistant or a transaction coordinator. Um, so if you're in that same boat, um, or even if you have an assistant or transaction coordinator, this can really help you to keep all of your transactions in order, know what's going on, um, have the the information at your fingertips without having to always grab your phone and you know look something up maybe online or um, even in you know your files that you have on there apps that you have on there um, the problems that I have is you know somebody calls me they want to know something about a listing and if I'm on the phone it's really hard to pick up my phone and pull up the information and if you've got you know 20 listings then it's hard to remember the exact square footage and bedrooms and bathrooms of every single one of those. So what I had come up with myself, um, and now I'm ready to share with the world, is um, the Agent Leader Planner. So in the Agent Leader Planner, you have got space for um, meeting notes here at the beginning. Um, this is just for any of your maybe office meetings. Um, it is goal specific for maybe issues, key points, conclusions, action items that you may be walking away with out of any of your meetings. So you've got those. Um, at the beginning of every month, you're also going to have um, a goals page. It's going to have you assess what you've been through the last month and then assess where you want to go the next month. Just really short, three questions each, but helps kind of keep you on track. If you don't assess yourself, you'll find yourself doing the same things over and over and maybe not making progress. So each month, it's really good to assess where you're at, if you've had made progress, and if you have, keep doing the same things, and if not, you may need to pivot. This is what I've missed when I haven't had this planner, um, is the dailies, okay? And I don't know how close I can get for you to be able to see this, but in the dailies, what we've got is um, daily, a daily goal and gratitude. But then the next part, this is what helps me keep everything in order and not forget things because we're going to get so much in our heads, so many phone calls, so many requests. There's no way if we don't write them down, we're not going to be able to keep them straight. So um, it's got a place for follow-up phone calls, homes that you need to list, repairs to order, signs or flyers that maybe need to go out, and just things to do. And then the hours from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. are broken down in half hour increments um, with plenty of space. This is a seven and a half by nine. So there's plenty of space for you to be able to actually write in the hourly. And because you have all these to do's on the side, you're not taking up so much space in your hourly. So it really gives you enough space daily to be able to write down all that you can really accomplish in a day. And if you haven't accomplished it today, you can move it on to the next day. Uh, so this is listings. <clears throat> so when I'm going to go on a listing appointment, I'm going to take this with me and I'm going to write down, well, A, where is my where is my client coming from? What is the source? Did they find me? Was it a referral? Was it online? That's the most important piece of information for you to track. So where they came from, the property address, <clears throat> the homeowner information, if you've added them to your database at all, which eventually, you know, that'll be a, a box you will check off and then their timeline to sell, the payoff amount of their home, the listing date, so the planned listing date in case this is you know not happening for a week or two um, or when you're ready to go live, and then it's got all this room for the property details on the home. So as I walk through a home for the first time on a listing appointment with a client or a potential client, I'm gonna walk through and I'm gonna take note of it's got vaulted ceilings, it has a brand new HVAC system, you know, it's got granite countertops, whatever those highlights are, I'm gonna post them there. Um, and then also you know, your normal um, base information, square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, garage size. Um, so all that's gonna go there. 
And then below that is when we'd schedule the photographer to come and when we're scheduling to do paperwork. So whether it's online, in person, a lot of times I like to do it the same time as the photographer. Um, it just depends on how I set it up. But you have every piece of information that you need for your client for that transaction right here. And A, it helps you keep them straight. B, there's also a place where you can put comps. So when you go home and you're gonna do your comp analysis to come up with the price on the property, you have a place to put the MLS numbers for the comps that you, or the addresses uh, for the comps that you've chosen. So if down the line you have an appraisal issue and you need to prove your price, you can go back and reference what comps you use to actually come up with the price that you're at. So very, very important. The other really cool thing about this is when I get a phone call and I'm driving or whatever and I have to pull over to give people information or not sometimes, um, <clears throat> I can easily flip this open and if they're asking me how, what the square footage is of this house, they, you know, they just give me a street name or an address, I have all my listings right here in my, in my uh, planner. So there's no like lag in time for just a minute. Let me pull it up on my you know phone or oh, my internet's not working well. Um, you have everything right here. Um, the next sheet that is awesome that helps me keep my life straight, this is the buyer sheet. So the buyer sheet gives you a place for the name, address, phone number, email, the time frame for when they need to purchase, um, the source, again, very important information, and then any notes about the client. So anything that helps you remember them, uh, remember what they're looking for. I like to put, you know, do they have three children and two dogs? Do they have five horses? Something that's memorable about them so that you can keep your clients straight. Because remember, you're gonna have a whole lot of clients that you need to keep straight, right? You're not just selling 12 a year. So all that information, and then whether or not you've set them up on a search, who their lender is, and then any follow-up um, that you have, either dates or you can, kind of take notes of when you're following up with them um, so that you keep keep track of them. So I know that a CRM is amazing and we do need to use our CRMs. We need to put our clients on a search and this does not negate that. This is in addition to because you're going to be, again, you know, driving down the road or walking down the street or sitting in your office or whatever, not necessarily next to your computer and somebody's gonna call and give you their information or you're gonna meet them in an open house and this is, again, seven and a half by nine, so really easy to hold in one hand and be able to write and get all their information and be able to follow up with them and maybe put on the follow-up what it is that you need to do next and what day. So um, anyway, all that information will be in here. You do have a place for notes, so just general note-taking pages. Um, and that's about it. There is a place in the back where you can put contacts as well. Usually contacts are gonna be buyers or sellers. But if you meet somebody else, maybe other professionals, uh, contractors that you want to keep track of, this is a good place to take note with them as well. Um, then you have everything that you need at your fingertips. So coming very soon to you, it is available for pre-order starting Monday. Um, and this will be available for you guys to purchase and be able to use. So um, I am doing one modification to it where this will, this was my prototype that came to me, um, but this, the cover will be a little bit longer, so it does cover the tabs, so your tabs don't get squished in your back. But this is a good size to put in any type of man bag or purse or anything like that. So thanks for joining me. And if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email at support at agentleader.com. Uh, the website is agentleader.com. And you can find me at Facebook um, at, at, at sign, Agent Leader. So I'm happy to uh, share this with you and I hope you love it as much as I do. Thanks.